Hey guys, it's Melanie, and today I'm going to be reviewing for you the Yankee Candle Apple Pumpkin Candle. And I have this in the large perfect pillar form is what they call it. It is a 20 ounce candle. Now I actually picked this one up last summer when my brother and my sister-in-law were in town and we went to the outlets. So I have a Yankee Candle outlet about 45 minutes from my house. And whenever I head down there, I um, usually go into Yankee Candle, and a lot of times they do the 6 for 60 special. And I picked this up um, during that sale last summer. And uh, I really, really like this candle. So I busted it out today because it's another 90 degree day, and I'm trying whatever I can. <laughs> To try to summon fall to Oregon it doesn't seem to be working but anyway so let me tell you guys a little bit about this candle so this is obviously my second season burning it here and you can see that I'm not even halfway through the candle I burned it what seemed like weeks last year so I really do give it to Yankee Candle in terms of their um, burn time they really do a fantastic job with that and this particular candle actually has a pretty great throw as well so let me give you the fragrance description from their website for it. So this says, homegrown apples and pumpkins, two of fall's classic aromas, come together for a warm, cozy, inviting fragrance that fills the home with delicious warmth. The slightly sweet, earthy notes from the pumpkin and clove with a little bit of spiced apple added bring the season home and offer a arms open welcome to family and friends. So the reason that I grabbed this candle is that it really reminds me of home, home being my parents' house. <laughs> when I was growing up, my mom was really into crafting, and so she would drag me on many a trip to Michael's, <laughs> and this candle to me smells like a Michael's during the fall time. And so while this isn't a scent that I normally gravitate towards, I picked it up because it reminds me of my mom, and I'm very close with my mom. And um, anything that I can do to sort of bring her into my home. <laughs> my mom lives about two hours away, so we're not able to see each other quite as often as we would like, even though I'm very, very close with her. So this candle kind of makes me feel like my mom is, you know, still a part of like my everyday life. Um, and like I said, it's not like she's gone or anything, but it just makes me feel a little bit closer to her because we have that distance between us. So this particular candle is very, um, it's a very fall scent. Like it's not something that you would really probably burn during any other time of the year. It's a very seasonally specific type of scent and it's definitely a fall <laughs> scented candle to me. Um, you can definitely get quite a bit of the apple in this particular candle and that clove. Um, those are probably like the strongest notes within this candle. I do get pumpkin from this, um, but it's mainly the apple and the clove that really kind of come through for me. Um, the wax that's in this particular candle is different than the wax that they have in their jar candles. So I'm just gonna grab one from up above here. So these jar candles here, these have a paraffin wax and um, the uh, wax in here is different. I believe it's a vegetable blend wax so um, it burns pretty clean um, it's very very strong I would actually say that it's stronger than a lot of the traditional jar wax candles um, and I get throw from this candle within about probably 10 or 15 minutes of lighting it so that's pretty good for a Yankee candle I don't normally buy the jar candles. I grabbed this one because it was part of the six for 60 sale. And um, they actually didn't have the jar in this particular scent when I was there. So I think they had already sold out of all of the jar candles. But I really do like this vegetable blend wax as well. Um, it certainly burns very clean, like I said. It melts evenly and pretty quickly. So I'm gonna show you guys from up above. There's a pretty good sized wax pool here going already and I've only had this lit for about an hour. I do have an Aluma lid on there. So you can see down. And really, I am 
crazy impressed <laughs> with how little of this candle that I've used, given that I've already burned it for an entire season last fall. So it's going to be one of those candles that I imagine that I'll probably have into next fall as well. So great scent. The throw is amazing. I certainly recommend the tumbler jars. This one here actually retails for um, uh, $24.99 and actually right now at Yankee Candle it looks like they are doing a buy one get one 50% off so that would be a good time um, to stock up on this. Um, this particular large pillar is supposed to burn for up to 140 hours and I would probably agree with that just based on the fact that it's burning so slowly. So Again, super impressed with this one. I love the smell of it. If you love a warm, homey, like very fall specific, like apple type of scent, um, I would really recommend this one. If you're looking for something that is more pumpkin based, you get some pumpkin in this, but really the apple and the clove and that kind of like apple spice kind of scent is really what you're going to get um, most within this particular candle. It really is a great fall candle and I am crazy excited to be able to burn it again this year. I'm hoping <laughs> if I just keep burning these fall candles and doing the reviews for you guys that fall will hit Oregon sometime soon. I know the rest of you are probably cringing because most everybody on the East Coast has had some pretty crappy summer weather but I guess we've been lucky over here on the West Coast although it's not really lucky for me. <laughs> because I hate the summertime. So by the way, in case you were going to ask, these little uh, mercury glass pumpkins here, I just picked these up at Marshall's when I was visiting my mom this weekend. And they were $6.99, they're by Cynthia Rowley, and they were just in one of the end caps with like the Halloween stuff. I just thought they were super cute, so um, I'm gonna go and see if I can find a few more of these. And I'm going to kind of de decorate my tablescape here with them for fall. So I really love mercury glass, in case you can't tell. <laughs> and there's Stella. So that's my cue to bow out of this review. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Stella says bye-bye. <laughs>